Yes. The bill is how much? Why, the bill's 400 pounds, oh, sir. No problem. Let me get my wallet here. Hold on. My wallet has to be in here somewhere. I, I don't deal with these. Very well. It's not Very it. well, then. I don't deal with these small bills. I can afford a little dinner Good here and there. Do you know another My pen? wallet's in here somewhere. That's, that's not it either. Hold on. I, I know my why, wallet's in here. Why, this is a travesty. That's not sorry, my wallet. You don't have a method of sorry about this, sir, but a few going to ask you paperweights in here. Once. Ah, I found my wallet. Here ah, we go. Nicely. Okay. Alright, can I take care of the check um, sir, Take yourself nicely. Your card has declined. What? What's going on guys so today i'm gonna show you guys finally um one of the bags i carry around from time to time now this is just an example of what you can do with certain bags you know this applies to backpacks for your kids or whoever um like satchels messenger bags if you're a lady a, a purse either or um this bag itself is not bulletproof but what i do normally is i'll take some bulletproof um armor and I'll just basically put it inside the bag. Now, this is one of the bags that I do carry from time to time. So what I'll do is I'll take body armor, basically put it in the inside. And I mean, depending on what you carry, you can still fit a decent amount of room in there. Pretty good in there. This is, um, let me take this out of the bag and show you guys. Hold on. Put that aside. So this is one of the small plates I carry. Now it is bendable. Um, so you can just squeeze it up in the bag. Uh, I believe this is a 3A plus. Now, I do keep these um, in the backpacks if I'm going fishing or whatever I'm out in the woods. Um, just for the extra protection. I mean, you don't really have this stuff just in case you get, I mean, you don't have this stuff just always looking for trouble. I mean, it's, it's mainly just in case if something was to happen, you don't have some type of armor to benefit you. I mean, I'd rather have no armor than, I'd rather have an armor than no armor. I almost said that wrong. I'd rather have this than have nothing. Um, provided this fits me pretty, pretty well. Um, so when I have the bag over my back, my back or front is covering a decent amount of area. Now, I don't always carry this. This is just something I use from time to time. I also have a book bag, um, several, actually several book bags, a drawstring bag. I'll just slip one of these inside. I have like four or five of these um, for different stuff. Um, but yeah, just having armor in general is nice to have. It gives you a little sense of protection when you have to see out in the public and dealing with people because people nowadays are just crazy guys honestly people nowadays are losing it so you just gotta be prepared at least for something at least be prepared the, the advantages of carrying a book bag a bag a purse whatever um it has a few advantages but it has a lot of disadvantages now i'm gonna go over why i don't carry weapons in either bag that i decide to have um because personally bags are the first thing to get stolen when you are walking down the street with a bag on your back that's the first thing they're going for they see the name they're yo give me the bag and i want to say you know what here take it i ain't got time for this i don't have time for this i'm gonna shoot you over a bag you want to take the bag you take the bag that's on you now if you happen to threaten me in the process that's <clears throat> that's on you but um yeah so the reason i don't personally carry bags um weapons inside bags for that person for that for that main reason so for example if i take this clock here um it's empty by the way empty mag um and i stuff it inside a bag now that gun is in that bag okay this bag you can't sit down you can't leave unattended you have to babysit basically that bag now the only advantage i can see of having a bag and a gun is if you need to pull your gun out in public um not being noticed i'm basically pointing the gun at the camera um for all you know i'm looking for a, a pin but i'm actually pointing the gun at you okay so that's the only advantage i can actually think of um well then again there's another one depending on what you're wearing like if you're wearing something um, that can't be concealed um, as far as what, what gun you own. This would help out. So if you got like a larger gun, like if I, if I wanted to carry my Glock 17, it goes in the back fine, for example. If you wanted to, or if you're carrying a 1911, or anything just giant, or something that just doesn't go with your outfit. Your shirt's too tight, you know, a belt, or whatever your excuse is of trying not to carry a gun. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So, I mean, that's the only advantage I see. Carry bigger things. Um, you can use a book bag backpack whatever to carry med medical supplies or spare rounds it, it's honestly up to you um the only thing i really mainly keep in mind is pretty much when 24 7 in either bag that i'm carrying 
is um, basically just some armor. Because like I said, it's better to have armor that covers at least most of my chest cavity. Or if it's on my back, a little bit of um, protection there. But that's nothing too crazy. So another benefit of using a bag or anything to carry a gun is, I mean, if you're at the gym, for example, I, I would believe it's pretty hard still carrying um, with a gun between your hips and you're in gym shorts or sweatpants and you're doing squats or whatever. It seemed like it would be in the way. I'm sure you could do it, but it would be in the way. Versus you working out with a book bag or a duffel bag or whatever. The only thing about a duffel bag is it's a lot bigger, so it's kind of noticed you walk around with a big bag. That's up to you if you care or not. Um, me personally, if you're working out with a duffel bag, that's something you'd probably have to take and sit down while you work out. And I don't know about you, but I don't let my gun sitting down anywhere where my eyes are not locked on it at all times. So if I'm up here and I'm doing squats, my bag is on the ground. If somebody wanted to, they could just sneak on over, grab that bag and it's gone. You don't know where it is. Your, your bag's gone, your gun's gone, and good luck with your legal struggles if anything was to happen with that gun. So that's why I personally don't carry any weapons in my bag. Um, again, that's up. It's up to you guys. I'm just giving you guys options. That's just something creative that I decided to do, just using a bag to carry extra stuff. Um, that's what bags are for, just carry stuff. I mean, I don't see another reason of having a bag, but. All right, guys, that's it. Just giving you guys a little bit of knowledge here and there. Um, I always, if I think of something that's helpful and creative, I'll pass on to you guys. If you like information, hey, take it, use it. If not, hey, watch, wait for the next video. So appreciate you guys for watching. You stay this long. Hit, do hit that like button, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.